What's up, YouTube? This is going to be a guide on how to use Orthworm in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing competitive movesets and fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon set you don't see here that maybe you think you could add something to it or any set that you use that works really well, let me know about in the comment section. And if you're enjoying these guides, if they're helping, make sure you hit the like button and let's get into it. So, Orthworm is a pretty cool Pokemon, and it's got a very, very good ability too. Uh, Ursula, uh, we see its uh, defense is that. It's very, very high, 145 base defense. The rest of the stats have quite a bit to be desired here. Its health stat is okay, but uh, mainly we've got this uh, massive defense stat. Now, it does have a very, very good move, Shed Tail, so a lot like Cyclozar have done that guide already too. So with Shed Tail, it gives it an opportunity to pass off a subject. And since it's going to go second a lot of the time, that isn't all that bad either. Uh, so we're going to go first with a Shed Tail, a bulky uh, defensive set here with um, Iron Defense and Body Press. So this is what you'll probably see most of the time the Orthworm is running, or very, very similar variants of the set. So, of course, we've got uh, the ability Earth Eater. Earth Eater is a great move there. It actually heals a quarter of its maximum health when it gets hit by a ground-type move. So, what a splendid ability to have here, and it works so good on a Steel-type. So, that actually, you know, gets rid of one of its weaknesses there. So, it's only really weak to, like, mainly moves like Fire and uh, Fighting, you know? So, that's very, very good ability, in my opinion. So, really, you know, cutting down on its weaknesses. Now, I've got Body Press on it, which is very, very good with its high defensive stats. So, with the EV spread, I've given it max health and max defense, impish nature. I uh, just put the last little bit in there into special defense. So, that works great. You know, after our iron defense, this thing is doing huge amounts of damage. So, it has presence about it too. So, it's not just going to do no damage. So, which is good, you know. Uh, I've given it Stealth Rock there. So, it can set up the Stealth Rock or it can go for the Shed Tower too. So, maybe you can get, you know, take, you, you could even take a close combat and things like that, a physical attack, get your citrus berry and then get a shed tower. But normally after that, it's done its role there. It won't be able to do a lot after that because it will have a lower amount of health. So it's not quite as good as Psychazar because Psychazar does have regenerator, but still has a nice little niche you can use it for. Or you can just spam body press against a Pokemon that isn't a ghost type and still do some really, really nice damage for sure. Now I've given it the Terra ghost type, which makes it very good for um, spin blocking, which is very, very nice. So any sort of leads there that come in uh, with well, rapid spin and stuff like that, you can get around that. Plus, you can also get around any fighting type moves too, which is uh, very, very good. So that's probably a set you're going to see a lot there. And you probably see that one a bit in, uh, mostly in singles. Uh, they, like for doubles, there'll be like variants of that. They probably won't have like Stealth Rock. They'll have some other sort of coverage move or entry. Maybe not entry hazard. It's a little bit slow for that, but it'll probably have something along these lines here. So I've got the Citrus Berry as the item there, which just works great with Shed Tail. And you can take a hit, heal yourself off, and then get the Shed Tail up there. It's got enough bolt for that. If it does face a special attacking Pokemon, it is going to have a lot of problems because it's only got 55 uh, base special defense and you know, its health isn't high enough to sort of make up for that so you're probably better off swapping in that situation and bringing in against a physical attacker or something that just doesn't have any real chance of hitting you. Now, the next set we've got here, this is a little bit more gimmick, but it's still very, very good. One of the best Terra types you can run on this Pokemon is Terra Electric. Why? Because you actually have no weakness at all then. With Terra Electric, it's only got one weakness, which is ground. But with the Earth Eater, it's got nothing. Uh, no, no super effective weakness at all, which makes it pretty cool. So I've made up this uh, set right here. It is a Rest Sleep Talker. We've got Iron Defense and Body Press. So it works very, very nicely. And you obviously can spam the uh, Body Press and Iron Defense uh, combination there for damage. And we've got Apricot Berry. Apricot Berry raises the Special Defense by one stage uh, when it's at a quarter max uh, health, health or less. I would have gone um, Moranga Berry, which activates on any special move, which is a lot better than this item. So you don't need to wait till it gets to a quarter health. But um, that's not uh, currently in the game at the moment. But uh, you know, so you could definitely... Uh, uh, swap that item out when it comes in the game, but that gives it just a little bit of extra bulk on the special side. So I've given this max health, max special defense, careful nature. So with that plus one and special defense there, it's really starting to get quite bulky on this special side too, which uh, gives it a great opportunity to live attacks and get that rest 
instant sleep talk combination going off and sweeping through the opponent. And with Terror Electric, nothing is going to be super effective against it. And if they do go for a ground type move, it's only going to heal you up a quarter of your health. So you could give this uh, set a try there. I've given it a try. It's very, very good. Uh, I've, I've, I've taken a lot of Pokemon out with it or caused a lot of like just rage quits and things like that. Obviously, it is weak to ghost types. You can't do anything to them at all. But of course, you could easily uh, you know, get rid of those ghost types first there. Or any counters, of course. And then you could swap it in and set up and stuff like that. It still can be taken down by powerful special attacking moves. So it can be two-shotted very, very easily. Uh, so there is that problem too. But apart from that, it's uh, quite an annoying Pokemon to get around there with the uh, Terra Electric. You could run Terra Electric on this on this uh, set as well if you really wanted to. Uh, that makes it have no weakness. So that's another good Terra to run there. I'd say Terra Electric is the best Terra to run on Orthworm as well as... Uh, yeah, that'd be the best one, I'd say. Electric and uh, Water's a good surprise as well. Now, we're going to have a look at Entry Hazards here. This is a little bit different to the uh, lead shed tail set that I showed you earlier on. It's more of a variant, and we've mixed up the EVs a little bit. So it's, the EVs are like the second, uh, the Terra Electric set. They have a body press. So we're going to be running Metal Burst here. So Metal Burst is a really cool attack there. So if you get hit by attack, it'll return the damage at 1.5 times. So it's kind of like Counter Mirror Code. The only thing is, it is um, not negative priority. So for argument's sake, you could even go like... That's why I'm thinking. You could even go uh, sassy and have like, uh, you know, zero IVs and speed there. So just to make sure if there's any slow Pokemon, you could definitely get that metal burst damage on them. Uh, I've got spikes as well. So it does get spikes, which is great. And it gets stealth rocks. So it's a dedicated spikes and stealth rocks sort of lead here. And we've got shed tail on top of that too. So um, if you come across something that you know you could set a lot of up against, you could go for spikes and stealth rock and you know maybe they've swapped their pokemon out all better get out of this and go for shed tail so that's just another variant of the lead there and metal burst is more surprise so you could easy swap metal burst for something else there that's you know that that's sort of cool you can give it like heavy slam that's another move that could work uh well on this pokemon it's quite heavy and it's still type 2 or you could just give it like an, another like body press or something like that but with his evs is meant to be sort of bulky all round there so just another a little bit more definitely a bit more of a gimmicky uh, uh, gimmicky sort of moose set here. Like I said, most of the time you're going to see something like this. It's going to be Terra Electric or Ghost. And uh, this is, and this set is obviously gimmicky too, but it can definitely work there. So you're probably going to see this the most and think like variations of this Terra Electric if you're going to see Orthworm. Now, um, I made up this cool set there for doubles, and you could work this one out in singles, but this is more of, this is a little bit gimmicky, but it could still work. So obviously we're going to be running this one with the Trick Room team, right? Because its speed is... Um, 65 base is kind of bad, so with this, we've got a lot of, like, spread move, which are really nice. So we've got Rock Slide, which is great, and we've got Iron Head there for flinching. Now, I, I did actually give that Iron Tail before, but I sided against it. So I, I sort of started off with a Coil set and then worked my way towards a Curse set, but both of them could actually work it. So we've got Rock Slide and Terra Rock. And we've got Clear Amulet. Clear Amulet is going to prevent any of those uh, stat drops there. So like Intimidate Pokemon, stuff like that. So we've got Rock Slide, Iron Head, and Earthquake. So that could partner well with another Pokemon with Protect. And you can get some nice damage there with Terra Rock. And we've got Curse as well. So say if we do come across any Pokemon which are very slow or they're also Trick Room teams, you can just first turn you go for a Curse. And then your Trick Room Pokemon sets up the Trick Room there. So that can definitely work. And then you can start spamming Terra Rock, uh, Rock Slide, you know. So it'll do some good damage, get some flinches. And Iron Head will also be 30% chance to flinch as well. So lots of 30% chance flinching. And then you've got Earthquake on top of that too. So I could definitely see that one working. A little bit of fun there. You don't really see Orthor much as a... It's not really an offensive Pokemon at all. It's only really going to set a Shed Tail up or use Body Press. That's its uh, most. That's the most presence you'll probably ever see from it. So this sort of sets it apart from those kind of sets and gives it a way to do not incredible amounts of damage but good damage and if you have a little bit of luck on your side rock slide and iron head might flinch and give you the upper upper advantage in a uh, battle there so yeah there's a little bit of a double set there let's have a look at uh orthworm here uh, this is an evil set it's a sandy salt set now it's other ability which is probably going to get overlooked a lot because let's be real earth eater is a wonderful ability so uh with this set We've got a Bright Powder Sound Veil set. So this could definitely be used on a Sand Team for sure. But for the purpose of the set, I'm just going to put Sandstorm on there. Now we've got Sandstorm, which is going to be uh, very, very handy there. So 
Matter of fact, I was thinking, with this one, you could go Terra Electric, so it's got no weakness at all except for ground, or you could change it so it is a rock type. So this would give it a special defensive boost there from the Sandstorm, 1.5 times uh, for a rock type Pokemon. And that would make it really, really bulky. So it's got max health, max special defense, careful nature. And then you've got that 1.5 boost on the special defense. So it's defensive special defense. are so like, you know, very, very equal then and quite bulky. So we've got Rap to keep the opponent trapped in there. They're getting hit by the Rap. They're getting hit by the Sandstorm. We've got Mud Slap to drop the accuracy. And, you know, after you've landed a couple of Mud Slaps and you've got Bright Powder and Sand Veil all working at the same time there with the evasiveness, then you can go for, to sleep for two turns, get your health back, and start that song and dance all over again on the next Pokemon. So incredible salt there. Um, the, the opponent may get a little bit annoyed if you, uh, you, you get this set to work. Obviously, it's got its counters, but it could cause a fair bit of grief there if you use this against someone on a uh, on a sand team there. So you give that one a shot. That's a uh, an evil sand veil set. So the next one here, I've used this before. It is absolutely terrible. It is a special surprise set. So Orthworm has 60 base special attack. I mean, I've let, let's be real. I've seen worse than that. So it does get a couple of special moves and I, I say that pretty loosely there. So we've got uh, Earth's Power. And we've got Steel Beam. That's its best moves that it gets on the special side. So Steel Beam and, uh, you know, Choice Specs there. We're going to be hitting for some nice surprise damage. The opponent won't expect a special move ever in their lifetime. And, uh, yeah, you'll get some good damage there. And you'll take half your health there. So the next, <laughs> which isn't the greatest. And the next little surprise here I've got, I've got Terra Electric too. So Terra Electric actually worked um, pretty well. Because I had a, uh, I got like a Gyarados come in and start setting up like Dragon Dances against me. And then I went for a Terra Blast Electric and one shot. It was really, really quite fun. But yeah, mostly it's going to be surprise. Uh, another move you could go on there as well. You could just pop on Shed Tail there if you wanted to. If none of these moves are going to work in the battle and you thought, well, we'll just you know go for the Shed Tail and swap out. You could do that at the same time as well and bring it back in uh, and go for one one final Steel Beam. So there you go. There's a special Orthworm special surprise trash set there. It's probably never going to be coming like handy at all, but you never know. There could be that one time that it, uh, it really does work out well all right let's uh let's remove that and let's uh, think of some nice uh teammates for um for orthworm here so obviously orthworm is uh it is weak to fire and it is weak to fighting so and it's a very defensive pokemon so straight away um tox effects comes to uh, mind there and what a what a nasty call these pokemon are so Obviously, Toxpex is weak to Psychic. It's weak to Ground. So that's going to be great. And it also is weak to Electric. Now, if you make this an Electric Type 2, if you just went for a Terra Type Electric, that'd be really, really good there. So um, that would make a great partner for Toxapex. You know, Toxpex is, uh, you know, it's very defensive. It's very special defensive. Uh, you know, it's a very, very, very annoying Pokemon. So that would make a great core. And you could easily, you know, put Toxic Spikes down with Toxpex. And, you know, offload that Shed Tail for, to another sweeping Pokemon. Uh, as for Shed Tail, you could swap this into any Pokemon that has potential to sweep. There's so many of them, you know. So I could, there's so many examples you can use. I'm sure you know what sweeping Pokemon that could work there. Um, another item that might be okay on this would be Ockerberry or Choppleberry. So... You've got like Ockerberry there for um, powering down those super effective fire type moves. And you can, like, these can work because really with Earth Eater, and if you are um, an electric type there, or even if you weren't an electric type, um, if you're just a normal uh, steel type there, it's only got three weaknesses then. So if you take one of them out of Earth Eater, we've well, only got two to go, really, don't you? You've got Ocker or you've got Chopple. So, and they'd be pretty easy to see what was, uh, you know, if the opponent was going to do that. So you go Ockerberry or you could go, you know, Choppleberry. So that's another option there. But if you are running Shed Tail, you kind of want that, um, you really do want that extra bit of health there. So um, it does take half health to actually get this to work as well. So you don't want it failing. So, so that's why Citrus Break is like, uh, you know, more of a premier item to uh, actually run on there. Sort of like Cyclozar, you know. When, when you look at Orthworm, it's it's just a bulky version of Cyclozar with less weaknesses and an ability that's really good for it, but doesn't really help out that much in the Shed Tail. So with Cyclozar, I can have like Regenerator and it might have a chance to use it again. So that's the difference between these two Pokemon. And of course, it's very, very slow too. But uh, great sort of type, uh, type there, like 
A, t a steel type with Earth Eater is so good, you know. Uh, but anyway, that's a great sort of partner for it. As for counters, wow, this is pretty easy to counter. Um, let me just bring back its stats here so you can see. So any powerful special attacking moves, like a powerful fire type move. Let me bring up uh, some fire type Pokemon here. So we'll go special attacker. So look look at this. So we've got Iron Moth, Volcarana, Chi Yu. Uh, Armor Age, you know, so there's a lot of Pokemon that can absolutely destroy this. Uh, we've got Skeledurge, we've got Slazzle. Um, if, if it does become Electric type, that's fair enough, you know. Of course, it doesn't have any weaknesses and, and, and things like that, but it's still going to get hit really, really hard on the special side, unless you're running something crazy like this, like special, a special defensive set. Now, that does beg the question whether you can run Assault Fest on it. And matter of fact, let's let's have a look at that right now. So we'll go, we'll go. We'll, I'm just gonna adjust. Actually, we'll make a new one here. I want to see if we can get an assault vest sort of set going here. So we've got max health, right? We've got. Mm, let's go max defense. So we got at least we got some sort of presence about it on its defensive side, and we'll go assault vest. So with the assault vest there, that's gonna actually allow it to live special hits a little bit better. Not, nothing super amazing. So we could do a set like this. So I've, I've got like, uh, we can't do Iron Defense. So we've got to go for Body Press. So we've got Body Press. Good. Uh, heavy Slam's a good one there too. So that that's nice against any, you know, really light Pokemon are going to take a uh, a big hit there from this Pokemon. I it's, it's still got like 85 base in attack. So it's not all that bad. We're not really, you know, using its defensive stat, but it could work, you know. Uh, let's have an, uh, another little look here. So you could... I'm just thinking some other moves you could run on it. So you've got Earthquake 2, which really won't do too much there. I'm thinking like Metal Burst might work on this set too. Say if you've got a Pokemon you know is going to do a lot of damage to you. That could actually uh, work to your favor there as well. But there's not really too much else here you could do. Maybe Rock Blast to get around like, I don't know, a sub or something like that. But... It's kind of shaky, so I don't know. I'd probably go Earthquake or something like that in my personal sort of uh, experience. So you could do something like that, or you could go something like that, a little bit more offensive with Adamant. But no, nah, we'll, we're sort of looking at that set, and I was thinking, nah, we'll go with the uh, we'll go with that set. So you could go Assault Vest, but the problem about running Assault Vest is you can't use its best move, Shed Tail. So I don't know. You, you could you could try that if you wanted to, but you can get around it with like a like a berry and those uh, sort of things too. So another uh, another one you could do as well. I was thinking is a choice band set. Uh, at least this time you could actually make use of shed tail on this set too. Um, you could go for something like this, so that that could still work. We'll get around that and we'll give it like adamant and we'll get rid of body press. I mean, body press could still work. It's, still, <laughs> it's attack is still, it's like its defense is still like or higher than its attack, so that could, that could work too. But it just like be a little bit more surprised there on the uh, the heavy slam will hit a lot harder, and you know you can still duck out with shed tail. So that's another option you could use for Orthwarm as well. Now let me remove that. So let's do a couple of uh, sort of uh, final sort of thoughts here. Um, I'm just going to bring up its, uh, its status moves here. So, we've got a curse set here too. This could, this might work. So, we've got like rest. Let's go chest though, Barry, so we don't have to run rest, sleep, talk. So, curse and rest is great. Like, body press is like an excellent move for that because you can always make use of um, something else. So, this could actually work. I'm just thinking. So, we've got bulky set right here. So, we, we're going to run this specially because we want it to be able to like live a hit. Uh, on the special side. So you've got Body Press, Curse, Rest, Chesto Berry. Now you can go Sleep Talk on this too, but I feel like we're wasting out on the attack boost that Curse is giving us. So let's have a little think here. So we can't hit Ghost Types, right? That's going to be a problem. And we could... We could actually go for a Steel Type move here. We got... I mean, Heavy Slam could work there too. That could absolutely be an option. Yeah, you could go Heavy Slam. So I'd probably... Go ahead and go for that. Or Iron Head. There is an option. So you could go for something like that. That's another combination you could go for uh, there too. So more of a all-round sort of uh, bulky Orthworm. But yeah, um, when you look at Orthworm stats, it's not really cut out to be a physical attacker. It, it doesn't really have the speed. And you, you could go for a Trick Room set. That, that could work. But uh, this sort of thing. I'll, I'll show you the other set that I had in mind for it. Uh, this was like a coil set. So it does get coil, which is kind of cool. And you could give it like rocks, uh, iron head, and then it had like iron, iron tail. 
and then an earthquake too and that's like another like way you could actually make use of this that'd be kind of cool so you know coil giving that attack defense and accuracy boost and you know that, that could be kind of cool so then you got like rock slide being a hundred percent or almost hundred you know, percent actually for sure and then you've got um you know iron tail almost being there as well and your earthquake was already there so yeah there's another variant on that uh that double set or you could even try it in singles if you wanted to but it'll be better in like trickering because that way you can get your coil up uh, or you've taken out all these special attacking Pokemon or you're versing a physical attacking Pokemon, you could get that to set up and, you know, start going there with uh, the coils and things like that. But a very, very interesting Pokemon for sure. I want to say I really like quite like this type of set there that it's electric, makes it hard to uh, actually faint. So with Moranga Berry, that'll be a lot better because then you only need to get hit by one special move and then you've got that boost instantly there. So that's going to make it quite hard to faint for sure. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for Orthworm. It's a, it's a bit limited. That's one thing I've, I, I've, I've noticed about it. It is a bit limited. Um, yeah, th there's not too much else it can do here. It's best steel type moves are like, you know, you've got Heavy Slam and Iron Head, but it doesn't really have the attack stat to make, like, take full advantage of those. It's, it's body, body press is much better. Like, that's the move you're going to be using a lot more because of its ginormous attack stat. And yeah, there's, there's not too much on the physical side there. We'll go to its status moves here, just some final sort of thoughts. Um, it got a, it has the option to use a couple of the entry hazards, which we went over. We've got Shed we went over that. Iron Defense, you know, Body Press, uh, Curse Coil, sort of uh, physical attacking variations. It does get Helping Hand too. Oh, that's not a bad move you could use in doubles there. So, hmm, if you... I don't know, like, that's a... If you don't want to have Iron, like, iron Head on there, you could do Helping Hand too. Actually, I want to make like a fully, let's make like a fully um, sort of support set here. We'll, we'll do a fully support set. It still works under Trick Room. We'll go Relax. So instead of Earthquake, we'll go like Body Press. Yeah, so you could do something, we could do something like that as well. Um, get rid of those two moves there. Uh, we've got still got Earth Heater, which would be fine. We'd have to write back. I don't think Clear Amulet's going to be probably the item to go for here. So I'd go Terra Electric. Okay, so we got Electric. Yep, that's good. And we've got Wood we'll Shed Tail. Yep, and we've got we we'll have the Citrus Berry as well. So we're sort of we're, we're, we're sort of doing a a bulky sort of uh, support set here, and we'll give it like one more like way to hit it. Could give it Iron Defense too. That is an option. That's something you could do. Heck, you could even give it a uh, Sandstorm too, but that's probably not going to work so well with Electric. So, yeah, there's, there's an option there. You could put it on the Iron Defense. What else could you give it? You could give it Heavy Slam too. That's another option. Even Rock Slide. Like, Rock Slide wouldn't be all that bad, you know, because you could still at least attack with it. But, yeah, that's uh, another little variant you could use there for the doubles. I'd probably just give it, like, Iron Defense or something like that. Or, depends what you want to do. You could give, easily give it uh, Stealth Rock or, you know, Spikes if you want to set those uh, couple of things up there, too. But, uh, yep, that's all you pretty much can do with Orthworm. It's, it is kind of limited. To sum it up there, it's got, it's got great defenses, a great ability. It is kind of limited to what it can do there. Most of the time, you're going to see it passing off a Shed Tail using Iron Defense and Body Press and you know, a couple of entry hazards and that's about it you could see a terror electric type that it's very very difficult to take out and if you let it set up you're going to be in a world of pain but if you want to get around it just hit it on the special side there and eventually you're gonna wear it down that's about it for Orthworm people hope you enjoyed this guide i'll catch you tomorrow for a new one peace out